How is it going everyone? Welcome to the video series on Redis and in-memory NoSQL database. Now over the past few videos we are talking about the data types of Redis and we have these five prominent data types in Redis. Now out of these five we have already seen four. You can see a card over here. Please see this playlist to understand Redis as well as these four data types and in this particular video we will talk about sorted sets okay now it is important to know about set before knowing about sorted set so i will highly recommend you to see my videos on other data types especially set data type now let's talk about sorted set what is sorted set again sorted set is a non-repeating collection of strings which means unique elements of strings just like set but what is the difference between set and sorted set? Well, with sorted set, you can provide another parameter called score. Okay, it will be a number. Number, any numerical number, any signed integer number, it could be from minus 10 or minus anything to plus anything. What Redis does with sorted set is that it will arrange based on the score from minimum score to the maximum score. It will arrange the data in that particular way. Now, as I have mentioned that, you know, set and sorted set contains unique collection of strings, which means they are non-repeatable, okay, which means you cannot have duplicates of that, but you can have same score for multiple string elements. Take a similar analogy that, you know, two teams are playing football and both can have a score as 1-1 one, one or 2-2. Two, two. Similarly, multiple string elements can also have more than one score, okay. Now, one very important thing and the reason why sorted sets are being used because you know you can add, remove or update elements in a very fast way which is proportional to the logarithmic of number of elements and which is really really fast compared to the kind of activity sorted set does. Okay. Now to understand the main usage of sorted sets, I will recommend you to think about a gaming application where you know you need to randomly change the scores of multiple participants or multiple entities and you know in gaming we need to do lots of such things based on which you know things are displayed on the screen or players gets point and other things okay so in these kind of situations use sorted sets of radius because it is very good very efficient and very fast so let's go ahead and see how we can use sorted set and these are the first set of commands we are going to see jet add so for example any set command starts with s any sorted set command starts with z okay z add create a sorted set z range just like l range list range 0 to minus 1 you can see all the elements of the sorted set increment by z increment by increment the score of a particular member string z score you know get the score of the members so let's first go ahead and see these commands okay so welcome to the code i am on my powershell and i am running docker on windows 10 pro okay so as of now there are no keys okay so let me create z add okay key will be let's say test n and xx are relatively similar to what i have told you while creating strings you know create uh, if the element is not there or overwrite the elements these are simpler things okay so i am gonna create some uh, string let's say uh, abc okay but i need to give some score to it let me give a score 1 to abc and 2 to def and 3 to xyz okay and let's say give minus 1 to zzz for example okay now the command is successful and if we want to see the elements what will we do we will say z range key 0 to minus 1 we will get it in the incremental order of a score we can display range with scores also you can see that z z z is minus 1 abc is 1 def is 2 xyz is 3 okay so this is the way we use z add to create and z range to see the range we can also use z add to append so i can say let's say minus 5 uh, let's say a something like that sorry for saying so much a it is successful and let me go ahead and see the range 
with a scores you can see that minus 5 is in the first position because it is the smallest value okay now let's assume that these um, strings are member of your game and you want to increment the score so we can say z increment by you know key is test increment by let's say 10 plus 10 member is a a a a a 5 a okay i did it and let me see the range now you can see that this member 5 times a move to the bottom because the score is incremented okay and if we want to see the score of an individual uh, member we can say z score test let's say x y x y z you will get the score which is 3 so these are the four commands which you are gonna use more often now let's go ahead and see other set of commands so the other set of commands which you will end up using is pop min pop max and count let's go ahead and see all of them okay so we are back in our powershell so pop min as the name suggests that it will pop out the element or the string with minimum value let's go back and see the range again so z z z is min minimum and 5 times a is maximum so i can say z pop min test count count means number of minimum element i'll say one okay it will remove z z z similarly if i say z pop max test count which of one which means the maximum count it will remove a a a a i can give more than one count it will remove x y z and d e f also similarly there is z count now it is confusing because you know you might understood that z count will give you number of strings in the sorted set no z count will give you number of strings in the sorted set within a score range okay so let me go ahead and see everything once again so let me add something z add to d e f 3 x y z and 4 let's say a oh i haven't given the key i'll have to give test okay so now if we go ahead and see this is 1 2 3 4 there are score 1 2 3 4 so if i say z count sorry count test between 2 to 4 this is giving an integer 3 which means there are three elements now min max inclusive is there so which includes 2 and 4 so d e f x y z and a this is 2 3 4 okay so if i say between 1 to 2 there are 2 a b c is 1 d e f is 2 i can say min max 1 to 1 there will be only one which is a b c okay so that's all about sorted sets in redis and with this we also complete our redis data type video series we will see some more interesting aspects of using Redis in some upcoming videos of this series. Thanks a lot people. Thanks for watching. Till the next time we meet. Good day. Goodbye. Take care.